Pope Francis once said, we need saints, saints without cassocks, without wheel. We need saints, saints with jeans and tennis shoes. We need saints that go to the movies, listen to the music and hang out with their friends. We need saints that look for a time to pray every day and who knows how to love with purity, chastity and all good things. We need saints, saints for the 21st century with spirituality appropriate to our new time. And here we have one such Italian teenager who has been beatified on 10th of October 2020 in Assisi. Carlo Acutis was born on May 3, 1991 to Andrea and Antonia Acutis. Carlo was a very ordinary 21st century teenager who was cheerful, fun-loving and outgoing. He was known to stand up for bullied kids at school, loved the poor and went around the city giving money and food to the homeless. This young man had an outstanding faith and love for God. He attended the Holy Mass daily, uninterrupted since the age of seven, and called the Eucharist his highway to heaven. He believed that if people understood the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist and the amazing grace that we received from it, their lives would be transformed. Carlo frequented the sacrament of confession and Eucharistic adoration and recited the rosary daily. He deeply loved Our Lady and remarked, Mary is the only woman in my life. Carlo's relationship with Jesus and Mary was the very center of his life and found great happiness in doing God's will. By his courage, enthusiasm and commitment to his faith, Carlo even managed to bring his friends and peers closer to God. He was fascinated by technology and by time he was nine, he became interested in computer programming. His mother recalls buying him college level textbooks and he began to teach himself to program. He eventually expanded his skills to video making and animation. As a teenager, Carlo was diagnosed with leukemia. He said, I offer all the sufferings I will have to suffer for the Lord, for the Pope and the Church. He asked his parents to take him on pilgrimages to the side of all the known Eucharistic miracles in the world. Being passionate about computers, he began his great project to create a website presenting all the Eucharistic miracles of the world. He traveled to many of these sites and photographed them to create a virtual museum of miracles. He once said, the more Eucharist we receive, the more we become like Jesus, so that on this earth we will have a foretaste of heaven. On the 12th of October 2006, Carlo died. The funeral was packed with friends and strangers. All were touched by the life of Carlo. His sanctity in life was already around and people began to pray for his intercession. Carlo once said, Our aim has to be the infinite and not the finite. The infinite is our homeland and we have always been expected in heaven. This young saying teaches us that to become our true self is to become the person God intends us to be. He reminds us of the importance of daily prayer, especially the rosary and the frequent reception of the Eucharist as a means to overcome sin, temptation and struggles of everyday life. Therefore, Mission Revival dedicates this year as a tribute to Blessed Carlo Equitis, a 21st century saint. He inspires us by his integrity and conviction in living a holy life and thus may we all walk towards sainthood.